Jesus. One hell of a Black Friday. I got my computer, my charger, these bad boys. And I'm not even ready. I don't have anything on. No t-shirt, first time you see me without a hat on. I mean, I'm not even ready for my video. No, nothing. Here we go. Now that's more like it. What's up guys? Let's get into this review. What's going on guys? Mike McIntyre from All Things Sports. Back after a freaking crazy day. I'm so happy to see you here. Welcome to Black Friday. Black Friday can be absolutely crazy. And in the sneaker world, you all know what dropped today. We have another pair of 350s. And this pair is sick. Okay, they're absolutely sick. I tried to get these the first time and I failed. I took a big L. I did not get them. They're actually a pair that I really, really wanted. I've had a few pairs in between. I've done tons of reviews. I've had Statics, I've had Zebras. I've had two pairs of both of those. I got rid of them, I sold those, I had Sesames. The only two that I've left are still my OG blue tints. Those were the first pair I ever had and my butters. And for some reason, I really like my butters. I still do, I've always liked the butters. The creams I gave to my girlfriend, so those were her shoes. We have the restock of the black, so I'm unboxing them as we speak. 350 V2 in the popular fail black colorway. So, there we go. Easy 350 boost in black. Let's get this shoe out of the box. These are sick, these are really, really sick. I really like the blacks. Um, I always liked the breads when those came out, but those were really tough to get. These ones are nice. These are really nice. I really like these. They're super clean. You can wear these with anything. I do get some people in past videos, I've said that you can wear Yeezys with anything. And when I said that, I kind of meant that you can wear them with either jeans, with sweatpants, with track pants, with pretty much anything you want. Shorts. But I do understand where people go, oh, you know, I find them hard to, to wear. You can't really wear them with anything. I disagree. And I guess they're thinking more colorways. I'm just thinking more the silhouette, the shoe itself. But when I talk about the black 350s, these are literally a shoe that you can wear with absolutely anything. You can wear them with jeans. You can wear them with sweats. You can wear them with track pants, shorts. And they go with everything because, obviously, they're black. So these are super sick. Again, we've seen them before. I'm not going to go into crazy detail. We have a prime knit upper, the Yeezy stitch down the middle. We have black with 3M in the laces. So if this focuses up, you can see that there's little specks in the laces. There's a little bit of 3M in there, so those are reflective. Uh, you do have the translucent uh, stripe down the side over here. That is something that's ever present on the latest 350 V2 models. We do have the heel tab with our red stripe going down the back. I like that touch. Uh, Yeezy midsole with the outsole down here, the boost underneath, and it's just a very clean and really, really good looking silhouette and good looking sneaker overall. The black, it does have different shades of black. You do have a little bit of like charcoal in there, some areas of dark, dark black. These are always a pair that everyone wants. They sell out all the time. They did again, and I'm just super pumped that I was able to get my hands on a pair of 350 V2 black. So let's try them on, and again, I'll show you what they look like on feet. So on feet, guys, they fit like any other Yeezys. Most of you who are interested in watching this video know the story by now. If you are interested in Yeezys, I personally like my true to size, but you can also go up half a size for a slightly roomier fit. I usually wear my Yeezys without the sock liner just to give a little bit more space. And in these ones, I decided to go half a size up and try something a little bit different. So keep the sock liner in there for me. A little bit of extra space, they're nice and comfy. The boost midsole is super comfortable. Prime knit does take some time to break in, in my opinion, just because in general, it's a little bit thicker of a prime knit compared to something like an NMDR1. The more you wear them, the better they feel. They're super comfortable thanks to the boost and the prime knit. Again, once you work it in, I think they're gonna be a very comfortable shoe. And given that this one is black, once again, you can rock them with anything. So that's pretty much it. If you are interested in a pair for yourselves, go true to size in my opinion. But if you are someone that likes a roomy or casual fit and you want these to be loose on your feet, then no doubt go up half a size and they should be fine. Either or, Easy 350 Boost, something we all know, something everyone seems to still really like no matter how many drops we get. 
and that is our look at the 350 black. Let's send it back to the desk and we'll wrap up the video. So there we have it guys, Black Friday come and gone. There are still some deals I suppose if you go over the weekend, but Black Friday brought us the re-release of the 350 blacks. What did you guys pick up? What do you think of these? Let me know down below in the comment section. Please support this video with a like and always hit the subscribe button and the little bell. I have a lot of great videos coming. Thanks for stopping by as always. I'm signing off for now after a very busy Black Friday. I'll see you all in my next video. Mike McIntyre, all things sports, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.